and welcome to Solution Code. In this video, we are going to see how to connect to MySQL database using PHP. So let's start. First of all, the initial requirement is you are required to have some server. Like in my case, I have XAMPP as a server. So you can download the XAMPP from the official link of XAM which I'm going to paste in the description section once you have installed XAM you just have to open XAM control panel uh, you can open this by going inside the C drive XAM folder and the control just here right double click you will see this and you have to just start the service like Apache and MySQL also okay here are two services running so I'll just close one or you can just start it by typing like it will search for you Zam. okay here you will see the control panel and you can start Zam service from there also so this is the initial requirement uh, for writing PHP and a code editor in which you are going to write PHP code so I prefer it to use notepad plus plus to write PHP coding because I like it <laughs> okay and it's mm, you can see that the PHP syntax is turned red so it is easy to make out the keywords and all using notepad okay so we are here to learn how to connect to the database using PHP script okay so for that we need to create a database so first of all let's see whether our local host is running or not press enter and see whether it's running or not if you don't see this you are having some errors in it so you need to fix out those for that I'm going to the most common error in XAMPP is uh, the error of the passwords okay so I'm going to put an annotation or a link in the description for that if you don't say this you must see that video first to get started with PHP and XAMPP okay now first of all we need to create a database in order to connect to it so we'll just create a database okay here you see a new keyword so you can give your database any name I'll give it a solution cone and I will just create it okay. so inside your solution cone we have to create a table so we just create a table underscore SC Okay, this is a table name and the call number of columns I will put at is 3 and I'll just hit go so here it asks for the attributes like ID it is integer and uh, it is primary IDs are primary key okay and here it's an AI a underscore I it stands for auto increment so I want it as an auto incremented okay now the next term is like name it is a where care and you can set the length for the name as 30 okay okay and the last thing is like address suppose I want to store the address also so I'll just <clears throat> okay it's a 50 once you have set your database and you have created a table you are ready to go now you have to insert the values just I'll show you how to insert you can just click here like insert and it's an ID so if you want to specify ID you can specify one or you can leave blank as we have selected auto increment there so it will increment us uh, for us okay so I'll just leave it 
as blank and the names I'll give it as uh, suppose Nikhil and the address is India okay and uh, the another name is Akshay and the address is India now I'll sh store this two values you can see that go okay so you can see this message two rows are inserted and when you go to your table you can see that those values are inserted now what we have to do is we have to write a script to connect to this to this nice looking database okay so for that first of all what we need is a DB host what is our host in this case it is a local host okay the second thing is username if you are using XAMPP or WAMP okay it, the username is root and the password is nothing password is blank but in my case I have set a password as root but in your case if you're using XAMPP for the first time you would leave it as blank okay and the next thing is just we have to connect so I'll write mysql underscore connect and inside this connect we are going to pass this three values first parameter it takes is a DB host okay and always remember this if you don't put a double quotes here you will get an error because it is it is a variable and uh, PHP does not understand if you don't specify a double quotation mark here okay so it is compulsion that you have to put a double quotation mark there and here it's in username second field it take as username and the third field it will take it as a password and that's it yes yes now let's check whether we have connected to the mysql successfully if we'll see this connected in our browser that means we have connected to this okay so I'll take it as localhost inside that I have a PHP folder inside that I'm just using connect.php Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, so you can see this message that it is connected. Okay, so this is how you connect to the MySQL database. MySQL, okay. Now you have to go inside this tab, uh, inside this database. You are inside mysql but you have to insert the values or retrieve the values so you have to be in one of these database suppose i want to uh, insert a value in solution cone database so i have to i have to select this database from the entire database we see here okay so for selecting a database now i'll just put it as a comment don't want it anymore I know that it's an error free code my SQL underscore select DB this is a nice little thing okay and here what we have to do is 
uh, okay let's make another variable known as db and we'll give the name it as solution cone because that's our database name which we want to select okay and we'll just pass here as db and let's see and we'll just echo this thing okay here so if we see connected that means this is correct okay you can see that is connected connected to database so this is how you connect to your database in the next video I'm going to show you how to insert values and uh, you will learn how to insert values using a PHP scripts so hope you like this video thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment below if you have any queries thank you